Hi, my name is Sebastian. And I'm Elizabeth. And we have an activity today that you might really enjoy at home. So today we are going to make a very fun craft. And we're just going to use some materials you probably have at home. So we're using some coffee filter paper, washable markers. We're going to have to use some water. And then if you want to turn your craft into something sort of special, we're going to use some pipe cleaners. And in fact, although this is going to be a very fun activity, we're going to show you some of the science behind it as well. So to make our craft, first we are going to take a coffee filter and we're going to put it on a surface that we don't mind uh, getting some marker on. And we're going to take our markers and we're going to start coloring in all of the coffee filter. Whatever colors you like. Now it's time to saturate our coffee filters with water. You can use a spray bottle to spritz a little bit of water on top of it, or you can take a bit of water and pour it right on top of your coffee filter and see what happens. Or take a larger amount of water, fill up a little bowl, and see what happens if the colors spread out. Or you can take a little cup, put a little water inside of it, fold up your coffee filter, and place the tip of the coffee filter into the water. In this process, called chromatography, the water moves through the porous membrane of the coffee filter and exposes the various colors which make up the marker ink. This could be blue, red, and so on. So we could see from this filter that the colors kind of spread out, and this was the one that we sprayed water on top. But compared to this one, which was dipped inside the, the cup, uh, we see that the colors only surround the edge. And so you can see with these two examples, um, one didn't work quite as well as the others, and that's because the marker that I used wasn't really the right kind of marker. It wasn't a mis uh, uh, washable marker, I don't think. And so you can still see it. Now I used a few different markers, a few different black markers, and so some of those, the color did kind of seep out. You can see some blues and greens, which were what made up that black. Um, and this one was placed in a, a shallow bowl with just a little bit of water in it. Now we're going to show you how to make your craft into a butterfly. So what you want to do first is kind of fold your paper filter one way and then the other way. Kind of like a fan if you were making one. So just go do this over and over and over again until it reaches the edge of the filter paper. Now, once you reach an edge, what you could do is take the pipe cleaner, simply wrap it around the center of the filter paper. So once you have it nice and tight, you could kind of spread out the edges of the filter paper. Could adjust as needed the uh, pipe fitter. I did it wrong, kind of. So when I spread it out, I spread it out so it was flat like this, but it, I think I should do it so that it's a little bit more flat like that. Yeah. Okay, just a tip from just a me. Now, at the end, you'll get something like this. So it makes a really nice art and really nice butterfly. And if ever you have a, a cloth pin, you can also pin it over here. Add some googly eyes if you want, make it a little more creative. But what I like about this one is just the colors, you could see them really nicely on the edge. Okay, I'm finished mine. I'm almost finished. 
Wow, that's amazing. Thanks, that's really fun. <laughs> that's pretty fun to make. So now I'd like to show you how to make a flower out of your um, coffee filter art. So what we're going to do is take our circle, our coffee filter, and we're going to fold it in half. Fold it in half. So it makes kind of a half a moon shape. Mm. Now we're going to fold it in half again into one quarter. Now there's a little flap and what we're going to do is fold that top flap over And line it up with the other edge so it's kind of looks like we got a little piece of pizza on the dock. <laughs> pizza. Yeah. And now, oh, look, and you went right ahead okay, and did okay. flip it over and do the bottom one too. So now we should have a almost like a fan, like we were mm -hmm. doing before. Um, and it's in the shape of um, an ice cream cone or some pizza. Now, what we're going to do is take our pipe cleaner. And we're going to wrap it around the bottom part of our little cone shape. And this pipe cleaner is going to turn into the stem of our flower. Uh, so once you have that wrapped around the bottom, you can begin to gently unfold the paper, open it up. And it makes a really pretty flower. Oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> now, one thing, um, I made this before uh, we started this video, but you can use a few diff this is using one coffee filter, that's using one coffee filter. But if you lay three coffee filters on top of each other, then when you f unfold it, you get kind of a bigger, thicker flower. So whatever you're going for. So you can have ones that are made out of one coffee filter or more. Wow. And if you'd like to do this activity at home, you can come by the People's Place Library in Anganish and we'll provide you with a kit of coffee filter, markers, and pipe cleaners. Hope you enjoy. And if you do make this craft, feel free to take a photograph and share it with us so we can see your finished product.